Good morning. Today is little Christmas Eve. That means December 23rd. Mm, and I thought I show you how I make our breakfast. So we usually start having a fancy breakfast as soon as Tommy and I are off work. So this is a typical let's get cozy and sit for an hour or two at the breakfast table. This is our favorite coffee. It's hazelnut coffee from Leipzig and I only buy it for special occasions and for autumn. So that way it stays special and we aren't over it. For a good breakfast on weekends or solemnity days, we like to have a variety of things on the table. We usually boil eggs. Here you see our cheese and, how do you say, meat, ham, cheese and ham plate and a lot of fruits. So we have everything we might want to eat. And as you know, um, for example, meat we only eat on um, weekends or feast days or solemnity days. And for the eggs, we use egg cozies, so they keep, um, they stay warm. And these are two little, I think it's a mouse, right? So two mice made uh, by our neighbor. I showed you some of her crocheted items already. Every year for Easter and Christmas, we receive something from her and I have a big collection already. And as a thank you, I gave her some of my self-made um, marmalades and jellies. And I think a poinsettia. Is it the right word? You know, the red Christmas flower. And here is our Christmas breakfast table or little Christmas Eve breakfast table. Yeah, and when Tommy goes uh, to get, get something from the kitchen or so, Benny takes the advantage. This is the Christmas gift for our, my um, father and mother-in-law. Do you get the hints? Do you know what we gave them? We had the tiniest bit of snow too that day. And I was able to catch up on my Christmas pillow cover. I'm on track again. And some of you in the comments, you were right. So many of you were right. Just keep it relaxed and then you will see, you will be able to finish it in time. And you are right. The knitting was done right in time. Here you see the ingredients for the red cabbage for tomorrow. we put up our Christmas tree and Benny usually has to sniff a little, little bit to see if it's not a, I don't know, a danger for us or so. I don't know. He's always very curious and it smells good. While I was decorating the tree, Tommy played guitar for us and, you, and you, as you see, Benny is relaxing a little bit. <laughs> and here is a funny thing. When I was a child and I couldn't fall asleep, I was in my parents bed and my mom told told me a story every every time and i it always worked she always imagined with me to decorate the christmas tree and we put up the baubles and the stars and everything and at the end she said oh no we forgot to put up the lights so we have to return everything so what would what did we do um, the last okay the stars then we put away the baubles then we put away da -da 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 -da, everything in the right order and then we put on the Christmas lights and then again we imagined okay now we have to put up the baubles the stars etc so it's like counting sheep and it always worked because I had to concentrate so much and this Christmas I really forgot something to put it to put on first after the Christmas lights I should have put um, the popcorn garland on the tree it would have been so much easier and I'm very content with how many handmade ornaments I have on my tree I will work on it every year so maybe 
besides the baubles, I will only have handmade items on it. Some of the items were bought, but they are pretty much, most of them are handmade by other people. The red cabbage is finished and now we come to Christmas Eve. In the very early morning I prayed my morning prayer, the liturgy of the hours, by the Christmas tree and the nativity scene. And as you see I'm wearing my fancy pajamas and my Christmas socks and enjoy this view. Again we had a lovely breakfast. This time we used other egg warmers, did you see that? I was knitting along on my pillow while I was... I think making us the lunch, yes. And I'm wearing this towel because I used a balm on my neck to uh, avoid more migraines. So I try to be as relaxed as possible <laughs> on my muscles and so on. And I also did my workout and so on. And I wasn't having headache during the um, celebrations, so yay. my favorite Christmas movie it's my favorite version of the Christmas Carol it's from uh, 1984 with George C Scott and here you see our Christmas dinner so Christmas Eve dinner rosemary potatoes red cabbage and beef roast I think it's called in English and Christmas pudding the Christmas pudding turned out so great again Um, Tommy has his new book by Andrew Claven. Now I finally can tell you what I had to do. So I was telling you that I was making a Christmas present and present volume one and volume two and that it was so much work. I made two photo books for Tommy, our last vacations. And it took quite some time and I couldn't show you because probably Tommy watched a few of my vlogmases. <laughs> Thankfully, the day after, we had leftovers from our delicious dinner, so we could eat it twice. And that was Christmas 2023. Thank you so very much for spending the month of December with me. And one episode is still to come. <laughs>